In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your AmpMark 2 DB and go over some new features. Hey there, Kyle Schultz from UltimateReloader.com. So the first thing you'll want to do is grab the USB-C to USB-A cable that came with your amp annealer. You'll also want a laptop, uh, PC or Mac is fine, uh, any type of desktop laptop system in order to basically download the program. So what you'll want to do is go to ampannealing.com forward slash downloads. And when you go to the page, just scroll down a little bit until you see Amp Annealer Mark II updates. And so this is where you'll download the Windows or the Mac version of the software that you need. So since I'm on Windows 11 here, I'm gonna go ahead and download that. You'll see that it pop it's downloading up here in Chrome. And done, all right. So let's go to our Downloads folder and you'll see it right here. Just double click to install or initiate the install. You might see something like this, especially on Windows. Uh, that it's saying, hey, Windows protected your PC. It's no big deal. They're prompting you not to run it. It's just because they're not on the trusted platforms, but you can click more info and then run anyway, and then it'll initialize the installer. So this is as simple as just clicking next, pretty much. So let's click next, you know, see program files is fine, standard for Windows, click install. So we're just gonna wait for it to install. And there we go. We have the uh, option to launch it, but I'll show you just in case, maybe if you uncheck this, you know, launch, uh, the bootloader. So we'll just hit finish. It did install a shortcut as well on my desktop, which is convenient. But another way to find it is just by hitting, in my case, Windows key and using the search. So just type in anneal or, you know, start to type out anneal and you'll see it popped up here. So I'll just launch it from there. Okay. And so now we are inside or we have the program booted up. And so what you'll want to do next is power on your annealer and then plug in the USB-C cable or USB-A cable from USB-C. <laughs> and if you're curious, you can find which version you have on your AmpMark 2 DB by just going to info and tapping on there and it'll show you which display and slave version, basically the version that the AMP and the Mark 2 DB is at right, right now. So what we'll wanna do is plug in our USB-A cable to an open USB port on, in this case, our laptop. And then what we'll need to do now is just update annealer software and images by clicking this button. And this should take around five minutes or so. All right, so it looks like both the program and the images are successfully updated on the AntMark 2DB. So at this point, we can go ahead and unplug our USB-C to A cable. We won't be needing it. And it's recommended that you restart the annealer after you do a firmware update. So real quick, let's verify that our firmware has successfully updated by going back to the info screen and as you can see here, it is now version D.02W, and before it was D.02N. So we're successfully updated for sure. So what about those new features? Well, let's go into the Aztec menu here and go to run as if we were gonna run some cartridges through, then go to our database. So one of the things you can do is rename, adjust the pilot or the program. So let's tap on one of these here, like Lopwa 65 Creed. It'll bring up another menu. Let's hit edit here. Let's just say I wanted it to rename it to one, um, or in this case, let's just say six, five, one for the fun of it. I know, confusing. Uh, now we can go on the next menu and we could change the pilot number if we so desire. I'm not going to in this case, or we can change the code and hit enter. And you see here, now it is Lapua 651. That is really confusing, but that's just a demonstration. Uh, another thing you can do is manually sort which programs appear on your list. So what you do is tap and hold on one for about a couple of seconds. And when you let go, you'll see that the arrows, up and down arrows over here on the right hand side turned green. So now I can say move this Lapua 223 all the way to the top and tap anywhere on the display to get out of that. So now our Lapua 223 is at the very top. Uh, another thing you can do is sort all the programs alphabetically, which might make the most sense. And, and if it were me, that's probably what I would do. So right here, you'll see sort. So if we tap on sort, it'll ask if you wanna sort the database. We're just gonna punch yes, and there we go. So those are the updates. It's just a 
minor update, but it's a lot more user friendly now that you can sort and rename everything and edit programs once you've analyzed everything, which I think is really convenient. Well, that's all there is to it to update the firmware on the AntMark 2 DB. It's really straightforward. Is this something that you're gonna do for all your current AntMark 2 DB owners? You're gonna update the firmware and get all the new features. It's not something you have to do. You can keep using your current system as is without ever updating it and it'll run just fine. But why not add some more features and functions for free, right? You know, it's so I think it's worth doing just a few minutes of your time and then you're off to the races until maybe the next update. If you like AMP Mark II DB content or AMP content in general, how about you check out the time I added the AMP Mate to this AMP Mark II DB. Another one to look at is the time Gavin taught Guy how to use the AMP annealer. So that was a pretty cool one too. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have an AMP Mark II DB and if not, are you planning on getting one soon? That's all for this one and I'll catch you all later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching Ultimate Reloader on TV and wanna take advantage of free resources, exclusives, and hot deals, just hold your camera phone up to the QR code, tap on the link, fill out the information, boom, you're getting Ultimate Reloader emails. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. Thanks again for watching.